Three-point lighting is the way of lighting up a scene. It's a, it's a method which is used often in a lot of like films and music videos, etc. And um, it's, it's a way of getting light all around a, a subject. So say it's a person, you'd have a light uh, one side, a light another side, and then both of those lights will shine on the subject so you don't get darkness on one side and not the other. And then you get a backlight uh, in some occasions, or it's a hair light in films, which is a light above, and it basically just separates the subject from the background. So we're going to set the light up here. Make sure the base is wide as well, because it's quite high up, so it can easily topple. The lights are hot as well, so you can easily burn yourself on them. And if you have an extension lead on a film set, uh, always make sure that it's completely rolled out, otherwise it will explode the lights. So yeah, these are uh, barn doors, so they stop the light. Basically, you can um, stop the light from escaping the sides. And you can have it so uh, maybe I can pull it forward a bit more to close the light in, or I can spread it out more. So that's a lot easier when you want to create an atmosphere. Bring the camera over. Now you need to look at me. Okay, so as you can see, there's shadows on this side of the face. So the other light here will light this side of the face as well. So you get both sides double fun. And the backlight will usually be here. So say it's a music video and you want to have some sort of light behind her. The backlight will be here and the two lights over here will light the front of her so we don't have her all blacked out and can't see her. A backlight will give an edge to a scene and it's just nice to look at, I guess. And also, if you can't afford a set, if you have a backlight, it will block out anything behind it because the light will be sure it's so bright. So the backlight is usually called, I think it's a shiner? Is that it? Uh, a hair light, on the, other, on the other hand, would be on, a, it'd be on some sort of light stand and it would come over her head. So it would be out of shot, but it will shine down and it will sort of give her a, an outline, if you like. And it will separate her from the background and it will just brighten her up, up her hair, as the name implies. So would you have both? Do you have backlight and the light? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, you have the light on top of her and behind her. That's double fun, isn't it? You can change it up, I guess, if you wanted light coming from below her on one side and above from the other. That would add a strange effects. It just depends on what sort of mood you want, really. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's, that's about it. So here Naita has two-point lighting, by the looks of it. So now she's lit from both sides. And I think, yeah, with a hair light, she, the, I mean, at the minute it probably looks like she's sort of a part of the background, doesn't look too 3D. So unless you change the depth of field, you yeah. need a hair light to make it look more three-dimensional.